Reaction video time. Today I'm going to react to a video that one of my followers has sent me called Why America Sucks at Everything. I haven't watched it. I'm curious about it. I thought it would be a good video for reacting. We are a family of six that have moved from the U.S. to New Zealand and have been here for eight years. And so I have been living overseas outside of the U.S. for a quite a long time now. And I'm interested to hear this perspective. This video came out two years ago, or I should say 2021, because who knows when you're watching this. Here we go. America is the greatest country on earth. <laughs> the strongest. <laughs> The richest, the most powerful country on Is earth. That a never As an American, guy? I'm sure you've heard that roughly 135 times a year. Yeah. 235 if you yes. go to public school. So true. 335 if you go to a Christian academy. We're told that Americans have the best lives of any people in the world. That we have low taxes, small government, and the highest living standards on earth. And most inaccurately, that we're the freest. Oh, that's well, so true. it is partly true. America yes. is the richest country, not just in the world, but in the history of the world. We have 18 million people who are millionaires. American households wow. own about $100 trillion in wealth, an almost unthinkable amount of money. Huh. Okay, so America is the richest country ever. But there's a curious paradox. Most Americans actually have a much worse standard of living than people who live in poorer countries like Germany or Finland or Britain, but how That's can that so be? True. That shouldn't make any sense. Yes. Well, here's the shitty deal. Americans get significantly worse services because our tax dollars don't fund them. Yes. So of course our services are worse. And thus we enjoy less happy lives than people who live in the aforementioned countries. Not that difficult a concept to conceive really. You get what you pay for, said the cartoon dog right. or the other cartoon dog. And while you might think the reason American tax dollars don't fund as many services is because we pay lower taxes than other countries, that's not even true. When you add federal, state, local, and sales taxes the and include other taxes. costs and services that our taxes Us. don't cover but other countries' taxes do, like our uniquely high health insurance premiums, you'll find that Americans actually give away more of their wages than most of the developed world. For example, in Canada, Canada, for a married worker with two kids, all of the previously mentioned costs combined, from taxes to health insurance premiums, make up only 11% of the average wage. In the UK, it's just about 26%. Meanwhile, once you tack on the cost of our outlandish health insurance premiums, you're spending a whopping 43% yes. of your paycheck. That's more than France, true. Finland, Sweden, and Norway. In real reality, Americans keep much less of what we own than in other countries. In other countries, their government takes a bit more tax, but then gives that money back to their citizens in the form of health care yep. or job support yep. or a general safety net for all vulnerable citizens, no matter how dusky they are. Yep. So what do Americans get for the money we pay in? Well, sure, we get a crumbling infrastructure, shameful homelessness, and millions of hungry, neglected children, but okay. we also get some of the worst services in the developed world. Yeah, service. Again, our healthcare. American healthcare is simultaneously the most expensive, I the least efficient, and the least honest. effective healthcare system in the developed world. <laughs> hey, the devil's you. trifecta. And in exchange for this extremely expensive, inefficient healthcare system, what do we get? Well, we get some of the worst health outcomes in the developed world. Mm. We have fewer hospital beds per capita than people in Turkey or Brunei. Americans have a lower life expectancy than people in Lebanon or Cuba. And in the Mississippi Delta and much of Appalachia, life expectancy is lower than in Bangladesh. We even have a higher infant mortality rate than people in Russia and Serbia in every Single metric, America does worse across the board. What about education? So why is healthcare so expensive? Because it's so complicated. You have to look for in network physicians, yeah. schedule an established yeah. care appointment, beg for coverage from your insurance company that couldn't we care less about that. you. And that's if you're lucky enough to have good insurance. Right. Compare that to Britain and all of those other well, evil socialist like countries where it's simple. Public hospitals provide free treatment to people who need it. Simple. That's it. I'll repeat that. Public hospitals provide free treatment so to true. people it's who weird. need it. It's weird. It's weird to walk and out and part. not pay anything. Even though Britain offers health care for free, their system is actually a lot cheaper to run than ours. 
Per capita healthcare spending in the U.S. is almost three times what it is in Britain. What? And almost five times what Canadians spend. In fact, Americans spend the most per person of any country in the world the for healthcare. Building. But the free market is more efficient, you screech. But in America, private systems often aren't efficient at all. Private drug companies have an incentive to charge whatever they can get away with for pharmaceuticals. Oh, so in Canada, a carton of insulin costs about 20 bucks. In the U.S., it costs 300 bucks. Yeah. And with private insurance companies footing the bill, hospitals have an incentive to get as much money out of patients as possible, too. In 2015, the average cost of an MRI scan in the U.S. was $1,119. But it was I only two hundred fifty dollars in Australia. Yep. Spain, about one hundred eighty-one bucks. And our healthcare system is so inefficient that we spend over a third of our cost on administration. Ugh. The United States spends significantly more on administration not than we spend on preventative or long-term healthcare. Not even a job. That's here. just not smart. Okay, we get it. We all know that American healthcare is so much more expensive, you say, but that's the cost of having the freest freedom in God's favorite country. Well, guess what? Medical procedures that are totally free in Britain, like giving birth, cost yes. tens of thousands of yeah. dollars in the United 30, States. Thousand, I mean, you want to talk about the cost thousand. of freedom. Yeah. Sadly, because of these high costs, Americans often because avoid going to the doctor, business, something almost half the population people. say they do. With shoddy or non-existent health insurance, Americans will wait until their conditions force them into the emergency room where treatment is far more yeah. expensive. Again, not a smart expensive. system. Quite often, they end up putting off medical visits nope. and dying. Definitely not Susan an Finley, a 53-year-old Walmart employee in Colorado, got pneumonia and took one day off of work beyond what Walmart's policy allows. So, of course, Walmart's going to Walmart, which they did by firing her. Without her job, she lost her nominal health care coverage. She struggled to find new work. And after avoiding a visit to the doctor for flu-like symptoms, she was found dead in her apartment. When Americans do manage to get treated, they frequently can't afford it. Simple, life-saving treatments can cost tens or hundreds of thousands of yeah. dollars. And they if they don't have really good insurance, they're forced the to take on medical debt. And credit card tens debt. of millions of Americans owe medical debt, often into the tens of thousands of dollars. Meanwhile, in a country like Britain or Norway, medical debt is almost unheard of. But hey, unheard that's of why GoFundMe is such people. a critical component of American health care. One in three GoFundMe campaigns is now for medical bills. I'll repeat that. One in three really? GoFundMe campaigns three. is now for medical bills. America is such a strong, powerful, rich, and great country that its citizens have to beg strangers on the internet for money so they can get life-saving treatments that are free in the rest of the developed world. Hmm. But hey, that's just healthcare. Americans get terrible deals wherever you look. Let's take... Work, for example. Yes, let's take Americans work. work longer hours than people in any other rich country in the world, and that's not because they enjoy sleep deprivation and not seeing their families for days at a time. It's because they don't want to starve or freeze or die. See, America has the least generous job support programs, the least generous family benefits, and the least generous unemployment benefits of any wealthy country. Yeah. It's one of the only countries on earth that doesn't guarantee paid time off for vacations. It doesn't even help provide paid time off for parents who just had a child. And it's not coincidental that we're also one of the most hostile countries to workers' rights. America has one of the lowest unionization rates in the entire world. Maybe this deprivation, hmm. our really? refusal to give people the means to lead a good, dignified life, commensurate with how rich our country is, can explain a bit of what we've seen in the United States over the last few decades. Fraying communities, rising rates of depression and suicide, huge numbers of deaths from drug overdoses. These so-called deaths of despair, suicide, drug overdoses, alcoholic liver disease, they're one big reason why American life expectancy has actually started to decline over the last few years. And with such poor conditions, it's not a surprise that poverty is so rampant in the United States. America devotes a smaller percentage of spending on social welfare than any other industrialized economy because, say it with me, socialism is evil. It's evil. <laughs> right, it's evil. Go to Denmark and try telling those happy, healthy families enjoying right. their paid vacation so that nice. their system of government is evil. 
guess what? I guarantee they'll know you're an American. Yep. But I digress. <laughs> America also has the highest rate of child poverty of any developed country and the highest percentage of workers Ooh. earning significantly less than the national median income. That seems pretty evil to me, especially since such a tiny fraction take as much of your money for themselves and their families as you will let them. All the while, both parties smile and shake hands. We are the greatest country in the world, yet we have the most people in prison of any country and the highest incarceration rate as well, and a Ooh. higher rate of police killings than in Angola and Sudan. Okay. America is bad at everything because what? instead of choosing to make life better for people through a public health care system or more generous child care policies or better public transit or programs that allow people to spend more time with their families, American law is designed and crafted to protect a class of parasitical middleman industries. Instead of using a proportionally tiny piece of the massive amount of the wealth in this country yeah. to make people's lives healthier Seriously. and happier, most of our elected leaders are and have been for generations Plenty engaged in a countries. massive project of looting. Do it. Gently and the lovingly guiding as much money as possible from working people into the pockets of the well-connected and the ultra-rich. Think about that as we start hearing about the inevitable rise in homelessness, poverty, starvation, and sickness that will occur during these coming months and years in the greatest, strongest, richest, most powerful country on the face of the earth. That highlighted quite a few things. I would love to hear your comments. Comment below, let me know your thoughts. Um, I will link some other videos that I have talked on these other, the healthcare, the cost to have babies, the taxes. I've talked all about this on my channel. If you want to know more about what it's like in New Zealand compared to the U.S., it is, it is a crossover. I'm going to have to think about this, this one for a little bit. I mean, I think he just kind of said some things that are just like, okay, random, like, where'd you get that information? Why is that related? But in general... I mean, the concept is right. We're overtaxed, healthcare is so expensive, and you don't get anything. I mean, I could tell you story after story. It's already on my channel. I wish you would have covered like education systems and some of the other systems that are like actually really like public transportation. Not good. Like he kind of highlighted on that, but would like to hear more about that. Share your comments, and I will see you next week.